Hi you guys, so I wanted to come on and to touch on the comments from Ebony K. Williams on her platform. I believe she is on the Grio, um, where they are found, maybe on their website um, or app. Um, anyway, she put this statement out about young black, she, I believe she said black, uh, college women should be looking for a husband while they are in college. To sum it up, that's pretty much what she was saying. And she, of course, gave her reasons why. Now, of course, once everyone, the YouTubers and everyone else who creates commentary got what she was saying, they all decided to kind of chime in, right? And so I wanted to talk about the YouTubers who are chiming in, like Cynthia G, O'Shea Duke Jackson, the usual people that I listen to, and I'm sure a bunch of other people here on YouTube have chimed in as well, men and women, right? Um, which is always interesting with the men, their take on women conversation, but I digress. Um, sometimes I get involved in their conversations as well. So it's, you know, I don't really, I'm not saying that they should not do that. I'm just saying it's interesting, their take on it. O'Shea said that, it, you know, what Ebony is saying is not, um, it's not reasonable. And it's, it it really don't speak to the generations today and I do agree with him to an extent of course he says things um, he's gonna embellish and, and so he can insult an entire group of women um, and so he did all of that but there was a point in some of the stuff that he was saying I do agree that um, you have to you have to really pull which I'm gonna get to Cynthia G because she talks data all the time as well but you do have you it is important to understand the temperature today like I said before in one of the in one of my videos about relationships a lot of people are not even looking to get married number one um, I think the LGBT community probably is as um, open as it's ever been so you have to factor all these things in people are into this polyamory and you know these other groups that are popping up um, you know, a lot of people are out here with the open marriage conversation. Candy was just out here talking about strapping up for another woman, right? Um, not for her husband, for another person. So, I mean, you have to take all these things into consideration. So this is not the same normal traditional conversation. And then there was an article recently, I believe I posted it in my community tab, where they were citing that the nuclear family is no more, which means that people are no longer looking to have um you know the husband or the wife uh, the house with the picket fence 2.5 kids and a dog right so people are no longer looking in that direction so to o'shea's point she has to consider these things and this is not some woe is me black women conversation because all black women do not want to get married and so yeah to his point um i do agree um, i don't think i agree with charisma from tell from nicole i don't think black women are out here oh my god i can't find a man they can and they are you know yeah so I don't know where you live if you can't, okay? So I'm not even gonna get into all of that, but once again, we would have to get, you can always pull data on that, probably based on where you live. If you live somewhere where you're not really around people of color, then yeah, your chances of dating, um, your dating pool probably is not as someone who is around uh, people that are, they're most likely to date. Um, because regardless of what people say, we're, we're a very small group of people, and this is another thing people have to consider. Um, and they're in these larger groups, they may not necessarily want to date outside their race, and that is not a right or wrong. You know, it's black people and certain people that classify themselves as black who push these narratives anyway. Um, but I digress. Like I said, these groups are much, much three, four, or five times larger than the black community in this country, and so people do need to consider that. So just because these women um, are successful or what have you, as we can see with these entertainers, do not mean that they're going to go and find these men of, of other cultures to to marry that you know and that these relationships are going to work out we see how many divorces were announced just this week right from um that interracial community so 
that needs to be considered. I just think that people are going to do what people are going to do. And I agree with Chrissy about that. And I also agree with Chrissy. And I didn't put her in this picture, but I just saw some of her commentary on this. This is a conversation for college women, then. It's not Emily's conversation. Um, I think that today, right? And I think she's kind of saying the same thing as O'Shea. You have to consider what's going on and what's out here today and how, and how women feel about marriage. Because you have to also remember at least two or three generations of black folk were not necessarily raised in families, right? In two family home. And so they don't see the value in that, right? Even though there is value in it, they don't see it because they were not raised that way. And so another thing to consider. Um, but I get Ebony's point. She's saying marry someone before you become so successful that you feel like you can't find someone. At least you know that that person is there for you and for the right reasons because you were not whoever before you, you know, graduated and all that, right? And vice versa. Um, you know, that also could be the case for the husband since they're both in school. Um, so I... I could understand where she was coming from but I don't think everyone uh, I think everybody have valid points to be honest uh, so it tells from the code she kind of went in on uh, Cynthia G because Cynthia was saying oh black men know to school and this and the other and the stats do say that black women are more likely to go to college like I said you still have to consider we're still a very small group of people so it's not like uh, I'm, I don't know every time I start recording it's always something uh, so it's not like it's going to be all these black people at these schools anyway, especially if you're not enrolled in an HBCU and everyone's not going to go to HBCU. Some people may need specific programs for what it is they're trying to do. And so they may have to go to uh, a larger um, university. So all things considered. Um, and then some people, maybe they just don't want to marry their own. And that's another conversation. Okay. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think about what Ebony had to say about college women, uh, should be taking, I agree with her. They should be taking their dating seriously. Um, I think that's what she's trying to say. Take it serious. Your the people that you're choosing to spend time with. Um, I think that's a better conversation than telling somebody to find a husband personally, because, you know, we're coming off a couple generations of people telling people to live their life. Remember people used to say that, live your life, see what's out there. Now she's saying, you know, find your husband while you're in college. So um, I guess it all depends on your family, your family structure and who is raising you and how they raise you, your value system that comes into play. Um, in this conversation. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about O'Shea and Cynthia G's commentary on this? Um, everybody says Cynthia is bitter towards men, uh, in particular black men. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys heard their conversation and I'll see you guys in the next video.